Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today we're playing Katamon Hyper Auto Butlers. Now the game is a roguelike creature collecting auto butler game, and I'm doing a sponsored video on this as the game just launched and is on a 10% sale for the first week. So if you want to get it, there is going to be a link in the description and most likely also in a pinned comment down below. So let's get into it. Also, by the way, if you buy it week one, you get like three shiny starters, which is one in a thousand to get. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, let's actually begin the run and explain how the game plays. Uh, these are the starters we can choose, the Catamons, and they have three main stats that are important to mention. Uh, health, how much health they have, attack, how much damage they do, and speed, how often they attack. Speed, the lower it is, the better, because this is how many ticks of game time it needs for this unit to attack. So that's like 13 ticks, 10 ticks, 16 ticks. Now, all also have one passive and one active called super, which activates whenever they uh, amass enough energy. So the starting units are Belith, a support tank, battle start trigger, one allies ahead super right away. And then when he uh, uses his super, he gets fortitude, which is he blocks a full hit and then two regen, which is regenerating. Actually, it gives it to an ally ahead. We're not going to go leaf. By the way, also, everybody has two typings, if not more, if not less. And these typings give you passives if you have enough units. For example, grass gives you regen and bug gives you summons. Uh, second unit here, the fire unit, Monku, on hurt, gain one attack. <clears throat> so he's scaling damage, I guess like a tank or an off tank. And then his ultimate is deal 50, his super is deal 50 damage to all enemies. That's super cool. Flame also says battle start, grant damage to allies. And then Earth says after anybody does a super, the front ally gets spikes and shielding. And then the last one is Crease here, which says battle start, grant allies shielding, so they don't die, I guess. Although two shielding is very low. I mean, 48 health and just two more health is very very low even the dps here has 18 health two shielding is almost nothing and then his super super is grand for i guess shielding which once again is almost like health we're gonna go into the flame build i would say so we go full on aggro mode and let's begin the run let's see what we can find uh i would like to go either into lightning with fire or into just straight up fire with who knows there is fire here there's also fire here i can go grass fire there's also water in the line, and uh, you know what? I would like to avoid elites because they are hard fights that just give you a reroll in the shop. I wouldn't ever say they are worth it, uh, but I'm forced into an elite fight here because we have four elites here, so I guess just go with a lightning fire. There is no fire here. Oh yeah, this is good. We're gonna go here, which is earth, as we are earth, and then from earth we're gonna go into fire, fire, fire. Yeah, that's like a super duper good path for us specifically, I would say. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go here first and foremost. And the first enemy we find is a uh, Badboon, uh, which says enemy dizzy triggered, gain one uh, strength and one thorns, and his ability is to dizzy the opponents, which is target deals one damage to ally on attack. So uh, let's do this. Also, we start with a Gnonk, which is like a throwaway unit that is gonna remove itself after a while from the team. The Gnonk removes itself whenever it decides to, by the way. I've played the game at this point four times, I would say, and uh, yeah, this, this guy just, whenever he wants, he goes away. We're gonna see. Maybe it's gonna go away now, maybe it's gonna go away next fight. And when you win, you get the following rewards. Always two coins. Always a Katamon for the opponent team. So in specific, uh, right now it's Badboon. We're forced to take this guy. And then uh, you get an item every four turns and a field effect every eight turns. I'm gonna... You're gonna see. You see every, items every four turns. The items are passive abilities or sometimes right away active abilities. I like gain shield. Deal two damage to a random enemy. This would be really, really, really good with the starting of ice water character. On attack, remove two of your frail. Frail is you take bonus damage. On attack, deal one damage to the ally behind. You know what? We're gonna take the small stick and put it on something that is in front of my main unit. Select the field effect, that's pretty much a relic. You get one of these every eight fights. Uh, turn all dusk types into physical and all physical into dusk. Uh, dusk is battle start, grant allies one, two, or four last wishes. Last wishes are on faint, gain one health, and trigger my super per stack. Remove all stacks. So if I had four dusk, that means when my unit dies, it comes back with one life and it uses his super four times. Okay. And physical is, physical is this, which I don't even have. Which is ally hurt, apply frail to the front enemy. I mean, I don't care about this at all. Gain two bonus money every battle, but lose 10 health. If you lose all your morale health, you lose the game when you spend money. That means you can only buy 10 times from the shop. I would also say no to that. Battle start, each ally applies one sleep to random enemy. Might as well go with this. Sleep makes the opponent skip a turn. Unless you attack them, then you remove the sleep a bit early. Um, 
yeah, that's it. This guy seems to be a tank. He has 40 life. You're gonna be in front of that. And you're gonna get also the small stick. So that when this thing attacks, it does one damage to my unit. And this guy says when he's hurt, he gains one damage. So he's gonna be gaining damage through that. And here's the shop, which uh, sells pretty much a catamon alongside potions and whatnot. And then also active items that you can have on your units. Um, I would say these here are very important. On equip, grant permanent 2 damage to your unit or permanent 5 max health to your unit. So let's actually go into the run and continue finding things. I would prefer finding some fire things because I want to go in the fire build. This is fire. Let's actually go. Let's fight right away. Let's see how this fight goes. Opponents are asleep. This guy, for example, is never going to attack. He has sleep 2, sleep 1. Yep, his ally is already gone and he's still sleeping. And now we woke him up. But it's already too late. He can kill the Gronk, doesn't matter. I think when the Gronk dies, then it's then ah then you lose him. That's pretty much what should be happening. So this is a fire one which I really care about. Other uh, other was others are sold. Gain one speed for the next battle. Gain two speed and two frail. What is this? Why would you ever want this? Um, this seems like a weird one. And then we got battery, which frail applied gain charge can be expended by other units and gain 20% of your charge as strength. And he also has a secondary passive battery. Gain one charge on attack, hit or move. Can be extended by units. I mean, I'm not a lightning build, neither am I there. I guess I'm gonna go forcefully into the fire here just to get the fire buff. I think Gronk has a passive. Yeah, this passive here. On faint, release itself. That's why you lose Gronk in random times. What is this? Water poison. Before attack, deal damage equal to the amount of units in the box to one random enemy. Okay, that would be cool. I'm not gonna go by though. I'm gonna full on fire. I think this is super stupid, by the way, this Kindle. Let's have it in the front. <coughs> Doesn't look fun to me. And uh, we're gonna go the path I decided to go through. So let's go here. And somebody can become grass or gain 3D XP. We're gonna go with gain 3D XP and put it on my main unit. And let's continue. Fire water. Okay, I mean, we found some fire here. Let's actually start the fight and see how this is gonna go. We're most likely gonna lose Knonk here, but that's irrelevant. If I win this fight, we're good. We slapped the back line. That's nice. The front line's already toast. And somewhere around here, we lose Knonk. In the next attack that's coming in. Nice, and he's gone. Nice, he did his ultimate for damage to everybody. Oh, he became frail. He also became frail. I don't know what the idea is of that frail game. You're gone. <laughs> and uh, somewhere around here. Oh, when this thing attacks, it hits the bangle. Yeah, I forgot about that. Nice. And Gnonk is gone. And let's get the Katamon for the full team. I don't want to level this thing up. If anything, I wouldn't even want it in the team, to be honest. Ally Fainted deals 5 damage to the front enemy. 5... Ally fainted deals five damage to the front enemy. This seems cool. Gain one uh, attack and two max health. And what do you do? Ice fire. Ally hurt. Gain one slow. And convert all my slow into damage. Okay, so this thing uh, slows down itself as much as it can. And then at some point it pops into super strength mode and smacks for one big hit. That's what I understand here. Uh, this guy having poison reduces damage by two. Uh, turn one ally's poison into regen. Oh, fire, grass, poison. So this is anti-poison, pretty much. Yeah, because it doesn't poison itself. Uh, it doesn't have poison itself. Bug. Bug is non-token ally faint. Summon a fly. And this guy says ally fainted deals 5 damage to the front enemy. Also fire. Gain 1 damage and 2 max health. I would like to get this guy, to be honest. Over the rest. Yeah, let's take this guy. 2 money. And now I'm 3 fire. 3 fire means all my units start with 4 more attack right away. And just to be clear, this thing has 6 attack. Plus four, that's ten attack. So the, the scaling is through the roof here. This guy has three attack, three. And the flame brings him up to seven. This guy needs to leave the team, by the way. Uh, we have two times this bug in the shop, so I can buy it and power my own bug up. Um, that's a choice. That's a choice. Gain one max, uh, one damage and two max health. I would say yes on this. A scale. I like the scaling on this thing. Uh, I'm not going to buy them yet, though. Let's first amass money. There is no rush. Unless he is about to level up, which he is not. Uh, I would like not to have this in the front. Ally fainted. I would like you to be in the front. You to be second. You to be third. Yeah. So this guy attacks. Hits this guy. He's going to also die at some point, but it's okay. Opponents have Monku, so we're going to be able to take that away. To level up my own Monku. Uh, I really enjoy the sleep thing. It's it's really helping us get a free turn early game and get rid of most of the opponents. Yep, they got energy because whatever was in front died. Okay, this monk who's about to... I just did 9 damage. Nope, you're gone. My monk who did his ultimate. Boom. Boom. What a, was that a gift? He did ultimate. Now he's fast and is frail. 
Now this too fast is very slow. And too fast is very slow. <laughs> Better words never said before. Uh, lightning. Ally. Uh, any faint grant 10 energy to all allies. Allies grant 10 energy. Any faint I think means when he dies. When he dies. It should not, shouldn't be any faint. It should be I faint. Or just faint. That was an evolution, but it's buggy if you get evolution on that part of the game. So here is the one. Yeah, it's super bugged out. Um, yeah, it now uh, on hurt gains one damage. It has a bit more health, a bit more damage, and deals seventy five percent of all enemies. So it's now it does now more damage in general. Damage, damage, and more damage. Let's get into the lead fight. Let's run this right away. Uh, will we be able to survive this? Who knows? I should actually read what they do. Yeah, I should have read what they do. Hurt grant other allies AOE. This is AOE. Oh no. Oh no. Does everybody have the same? Yep, all of these have the same. What do you do? Splash applied, gain two spikes. Oh, we're gonna lose this. This guy... Oh no. We need to not hurt these. We need to kill these. He has 14 spikes, man. And he loses one stack every time we attack. So that means if we hit him, we take 16 damage retaliate, retaliatory damage. Yeah, we're gonna now start losing everything. That's gone. That's gone. Yep, bye. You're gone. And uh, my main unit is also gone. 17 health. I don't think we have this. Fortitude, boom. 12 dust. And one more hit here. And we lose the fight. Very nice. We didn't have this fight in the first place. It doesn't matter. We still... That's why I avoid elite fight, by the way. Elite fights are extremely not easy to handle. Um, I would like to... Is he level up ready? I don't think he's level up ready. They only get 3 XP when you buy this. I don't think it's going to be enough. Let's continue on fighting. I'm not even sure if he's going to stay in the team for the rest of the game. Uh, what is this? Gain XP, grant two random other allies XP. Nice. Anything that I care about here? Oh, I would like to care to get this lucky coin. Battle start, gain one coin. Uh, yeah, I'm going to most likely take this guy and take the coin away. Let's go. I mean, the rest are not even part of the team in the first place, so I don't care about any of these. Nice. Asleep. Dead. 13 damage. That thing is sending out a gift. I need to get rid of my butt boon, by the way. This is a useless unit in the team. So I can even take the thing that has the gift and just keep it in the team. Nice. You're gone. And one more attack and we win here. Dizzy and we won. Very nice. Boom, boom. Get our XP. And here we get an item because we have to get an item. Before battle, gain 3 coins and lose 10 morale. This is a use it for a while and then throw it away. Any super, deal 1. Rail to the front enemy, that's nice. Battle start, gain 5 spikes and consume it for the rest of the game. Now we're gonna go here. We could cut him on. I'm gonna get this guy just because he has the battle start, gain 1 coin, which is gonna give us a lot of money. Yeah, that's it. Straight up. The money. And here we go, we have the item. So I'm gonna say... Uh, I don't even want the butt boon. What do you do? Rail applied, gain 1 energy. Gain energy. No, this is also not a good unit. I'm gonna say you can keep the cannon and you can now remove yourself from existence. Boom. And we get XP out of that and we also got a lucky coin. Other sold gain speed. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, the coin is gonna go on my main unit, I guess, until I find something better. Anybody does super, might as well go with this. And XP, my main unit, I would say. And let's also buy this thing to maybe level it up. Yes, it leveled up at half health. And here is how the evolution animation looks like. It's a scorpion, I love it. Scorpion, scorpion, scorpion! Highly Fain deals 5 damage to front enemy. Gain two, health, 2 damage and 4 max health. Nice. This guy needs something that gives him energy. Because if he scales damage and... Uh, yeah, if he scales damage and max health within the fight, that's gonna be super good. Let's go on off to the next one. <clears throat> gain a random item. Gain a random catamon. Allies all gain 1 fear. Uh, fear, I think, is a debuff. I can look it up as far as I know. In the... Load no in the decks. Where's the decks? Here's the decks. Status effect. Here we go. Fear. Targets a random ally for all attack, passive, and supers. Remove one stack per attack. Yeah, definitely. No, that might kill us. Let's get the random item. And the random item we got is another cannon. Yep, might as well throw it in there. So we're gonna be applying a bunch of debuffs. This here is, in my opinion, one of the most random and also best events. If it rolls, for example, one of your units becomes fire, I can just have a unit forever in the team. Uh, Toxic is relevant to us. Let's go with 3D XP. And I would say continue going on my main unit. And let's go on. Now elite fight forced on us. Can't do anything. It's the same one as previously. We will most likely lose. 
Uh, let's try the best. Let's try our best. Okay, 17 damage there. I mean, yeah, there's they're gonna be spread. It's, it's exactly the same fight as previously. We're just gonna speed through this. And this guy has already have 24 spikes. Now it's even worse than previously. Not not better. It's a thousand times worse. It has 28. All of my units are dead the moment they attack him. Yep, nice. Gotta love that. Let's actually go off to the next one. That's why I want to avoid elites. Uh, and we're gonna definitely get Scorpion. Nice. This thing is leveling up very fast. Now I want to buy these two. Let's go with plus two damage forever and put it on my main unit. And then we're gonna also get the plus five health forever and put it on my main unit. What do you do? Before battle, 50% of the unit in front damage gains the... Oh, that's actually super good. So something gets the damage of my main unit. And 50% is like six or five damage. Uh, physical. I'm not into physical either, so let's just straight up power up my main unit again. I would like to get either fire or maybe earth, bug, or dusk. Although I want to get rid of that moon anyway. So what do you do? Hurt, collect, pour, scrap. Use to build units. Build an Ekorni with scrap equal, health equal to scrap. Okay, so whenever, as long as I do more than 4 damage per hit, we should have this. As this is gonna pretty much stack up for health and then spawn it. That's how it works. So if I do 1 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, it's gonna be gaining 4, 4, 4, 4. And then spawning the Ekorni with a lot of health. Yeah, this thing has 12 health right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want this this fast. So this has 8 scrap right now. It's gonna spawn an Ekorni with 8 scrap or 16, I guess. It's also dizzy. It's gonna be attacking its own allies. Yeah, 28 health here. And here it is. It just spawned the Ikorni. Any faint heal allies equal to max health grant allies to damage. Ah, so it's becoming more and more dangerous. Yeah, that's a bit irrelevant though because we won already. This guy has frail 4, boom. Frail means he takes more damage uh, from a hit. And every time I do a super, we, they apply 2 frail to the front enemy. Very nice get a stage effect. Turn all grass into fire. I don't have grass, but this could easily make me after super deal one damage units. We're gonna hear. Anybody faints gain five energy on it. No, no, we're gonna hear. After any super, everybody deals one damage to everything. Attack, remove two frail from us. No hurt. Apply one ice to fast enemy. That's nice. Ally gains a shield, deal two damage to enemy. No, we're gonna go here. Money. And the stick is a bit irrelevant at this point. Uh, I would like to buy the max health, put it on my main unit, and now I want to buy the Sheriff's Badge to put it on this guy. Hurt, I play one ice to fast enemy. I could put this on that, but I, th I think I prefer the stick scaling damage on my main unit. I think the faster we scale damage, the better. We're gonna go Fire Water. But the second path should be Earth Dusk, I guess. Or should be Fighting Ground. Let's go Fighting Ground. Let's go here and here. Why is there a damage? I'm gonna go here. There are some things I would like. And there is another Fire there anyway. And uh, I don't care about any of these. Let's go. Oh, this guy has the Sheriff's Badge. I can just get the Sheriff's Badge by getting this guy. And I, I don't care about... Oh, there is a Monku there, though. Do I care about the Monku? I think we're gonna level up anyway. I don't think I need to rush the level up. So, um, I would say we just take the badge, which is almost six coins for us. And then we release it for XP, I guess. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, a bunch of damage to everything. Oh, they damage us too. Whenever I do a super, we just shoot out a bunch of damage. Oh, on everything? Oh, that's actually really good. Because we stack... Well, that's actually super duper good. This is actually super duper duper good for us. Because we scale damage on my main unit. That's insanely good for us. Very nice. Very nice. Look for the Kanamon. Okay, obviously I can level up my Monku, but I'm gonna just get the Sheriff's Badge here. That's what I actually care about. So let's take this thing. And we're gonna sell you. Boom. And you just give us the Sheriff's Badge, which is gonna go on something. Uh, you know what? Let's flip these. Actually, no, let's not flip these. Uh, let's put the Sheriff's Badge. This thing is attacking fast. So let's put the Sheriff's Badge on this thing. XP my Monk. Oh no, the Monk is gonna level up through the fights. I don't care about the Sheriff's Badge anymore, so now we can restock. Poison water, no. I would like to get fire. I don't want the stupid thing. I hate the stupid thing. What is this? Gain fast, grant a random ally, one max health. Now this fits to the stupid thing. <laughs> On attack, apply to poison random enemy. This also fits. Battle star, deal two damage to all allies three times. Okay, that's gonna obviously boost my damage. I don't think I want any of these. Let's go. There is a specific unit that care about another monk who I leveled up. 
with a coin on it. What is this? Ally summon gain one health permanently. Rail applied, gain one uh, gain one battery. No, no, and no. Let's actually go. I still have the stupid Monku, by the way. Baboon, actually, not Monku. Okay, why is this guy big? Fast and ex explode. He has explode eight. On faint, deal one damage per stack to enemies split evenly. Ah, split evenly is a joke. Twelve heat. Twelve. Yeah, three, 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 three. What a joke. And here we begin. This guy scaling damage. My ultimate armada of damage. Oh, seven to everything. This guy has eleven damage. I have nineteen. Let's see who wins. Boom. The one damage to everything. Scale damage. Boom. One damage to everything. Scale damage. Oh, the opponent's also scaling damage, by the way. I need to ultimate with my main unit. Oh no, we're losing my main unit. 22 damage. I lost my main unit. Now I have my 9 life scorpion. Which is definitely not gonna win us the game. And we lose this fight. Yes, now we're down to 50 health. But I still uh, get to choose and you just continue the game normally. Uh, I don't want any of these. Am I even into wind? Hurt gain the thing? No. And then he also does it again and gain fail. So this guy is trying to die. When anything other is sold, you gain attack. Okay, that's cool. Grand out rally 20% of my attack as strength. Strength is a one-time thing after it fires, it goes away. 48 health. Hurt gain... Uh, no, I don't want any of these. I guess I'm gonna just buy this guy to level up. And that bug happened. So now this guy is on hurt gain 2 damage. And deal 100% of, of your damage to all enemies. Do I care about any of these, by the way? I fainted, gain 100% of attack as shielding. That fits to this guy. I have to deal 5 damage to front enemy and then also gains more damage and max health as well, actually. Uh, this is battle start, grand other allies, 3 attack. That's actually very good because we're attack build. You know what? I should look into the shop to find my last unit here. Strength applied deals. Strength applied. Grant all others strength. Strength is the one time buff. Nope. No, I want just a. F oh, what is this? After battle, grant three random allies one health. Grant five shielding to the front. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this. After battle, grant three random allies plus one health. Permanent, that is. And Monk is gonna go baboon or whatever it's called. And you also get this thing so that you attack that guy. And I would like to XP you up, honestly, so that. I guess you give more health around. I want to also get rid of this boy. And I'm to Earth. After ally supers, grant the front ally two spikes and one shielding. Uh, you know what? I think this plus three attack to all allies would be useful on the scorpion. So that we have more damage. So we're going to stick to that. And let's continue on. On hurt, apply ice. No, I prefer the empowering up my... Oh, actually, no, my, my Obsidian is going to power up anyway. Let's actually slow down the opponents. And because that thing, thing says on hurt, and we have this every time we do super, we this is going to ice a bunch. At least that's what I'm thinking. So every time we do a super, we just power up all my units, and this guy ices the opponents. So I need something with a fast super. Or I guess we should go into fast supers. They have a Scorpion too. Yep, slow down the Sneko. We're losing my tank. It's okay. They're healing. We're losing the tank. Yep, tank's about to die. Ultimate happened. Slow down the opponent. Ultimates are about to happen. On my end. Let's go, boom. No. Ultimates happened. 21 damage on my main unit. And at this point, we won. They only have one unit alive. 25 damage on my main unit. Nice. And we won. Very nice and easy. Reward. And this thing levels up. Oxymp becomes Vibrakian. Vibrasian. And this thing does the following. After battle, grant four animal as one health. Grant seven shielding to the lowest health enemy. Nice. Lowest health ally, I guess. I level up. I'm not going to take this, by the way. Hurt, grant other allies one heal. That's actually super cool. But uh, I'm not going to be able to take this. I'm only going to be able to get the bonus XP. As far as I know. Yep, it didn't give it the item to us. And now we start scaling. Plus one max health. Very nice. Very nice. I would like to get the three damage, I would say. Let's put it here. I don't care about free that much. I care about having damage. Is someone something? No, let's restock here. Okay, we got to level up on the stupid thing. 
Can I not find another fire? Ah, here we go. Lowest max enemy must attack this unit. Oh, that's a tank. I think that's what we're gonna go with. Because the slower we play this, the better. As this guy's gonna be scaling damage through the rain. So I think we're gonna transition over to this guy now. Uh, which I'm gonna be able to buy in two turns. Anything down here that I care about? Also, I want to find a very specific item that buffs up my uh, main unit here. But if we don't find it, I can't do anything about it. They also have the thing. Okay, let's go fight. The fight begins. Okay, they just damaged themselves a bunch of times because they had the bomb. This guy has 10 health right now. The bomb, I think, is also an item we should have. So we damage all my units a bunch of times. Let's not forget that we're going to be scaling max health slowly. So, yeah, here is the off tank, tank, whatever it is. I'm losing my units. Okay, I need to do ultimate with my Obsidian. Here we go. Boom! Everything died. Everything died. <laughs> ding, dong, ding. Yep. Oh, this thing evolves. Let's see if it evolves into something useful. Like, if I see it gaining good stats, then maybe it stays. Franciar. Franciar has... Other soul gain 2 speed and gain 2 4 speed and 4 frail. Yeah. Not, not something awesome in my opinion. I should look at the stats at the end of the fight, by the way. This is already maxed out, so might as well level the scorpion. What are you, water? Do I care about this? Alice, I'm gain 5. And the bomb. I could go for the bomb. Deal 2 damage to all opponents, but let's actually level up my units. And that thing leveled up. And it became... Became a scorpion! Is its full name, I guess, at this point. Scorpion. I don't know what it was previously. Ally Fainty deals 5 damage to front enemy. Gain 3 damage and 6 max health. Nice. And it has a 12 attack speed, which is really good. Do I care about any of these down here? No. I also really, really don't care about the stupid thing. <laughs> uh, let's continue. It has a good attack speed, though. Attack. Oh, here's the item I care about. Flame belt. Any feint, gain one attack, which stays between battles. This is a permanent damage gain. So I found my item of choice for my main unit. And we're also going to get my six coins to transition over to the other unit. Actually, why did I want the six coins? Was it for transfer? I, I, I'm, I'm going to see at the moment. We need another flame one, by the way. This frontliner is not a flame. Decay, decay. This guy has eight poison. Okay. We're still waiting for... Uh, this guy has two slow and one slow. Slow makes them need one more tick to attack. And everybody got damaged. Obsidian just did ultimate. A bit early, I would say. Scale scaling them slowly. Damaged everything. Obsidian skin attack. One more damage. More power. More. If Obsidian supers again, we win. There are specific items that say on hurt, gain energy and speed and whatnot. So there are some items that we are really lacking right now. That would really break the game pretty fast. Boom, got the damage. I like I like the one we have on hurt freeze the opponents. There is also an on hurt gain speed or on hurt gain energy. Which obviously combos with whenever you have energy, you power up. Boom, boom, and we won. Very nice. Plus attack on us. Ding, 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 ding. Very nice. Select an item. Gain XP. I think this is nothing, literally. Before attack, take one damage and gain one uh, attack. Yeah, this is obviously godlike for my Obsidian. But for the in-fight. And here I'm going to take the Obsidian main item, which is this thing. So we're going to select this guy. And we're going to sell him on the spot because he just took energy away from us. Boom. And this here, I need faint, gain one damage, which stays between battles. So whenever Obsidian dies, he gets a permanent uh, damage up. So we we're going to have him first now. What is this? Large Canyon. Equip 10 XP. Yeah, I guess it goes here pretty much forced. Uh, I don't need money anymore, I would say. I will take the launch lore. Lowest max enemy must attack this unit. And deal 10 damage to the lowest max health enemy. Yeah, we're gonna go with an off tank. I don't really care about the Prancier. Honestly. So we're gonna have the Scorpion for damage, the Obsidian for damage, and then two tanks. You join. You straight up leave. Yep, you go here. 10 XP. Might as well put on this guy that scales health on us. And how much damage do you have? Almost nothing. I would like... Who, who should... You know what? Who should gain the damage boost is the question here. And also attack and gain health. This attack, every attack gives you damage. Should definitely go on Obsidian in fights where we're not in danger. Uh, I would like also to see if I can combine maybe two cannons. Put a cannon and a stick. A cannon and a coin. 
a cannon, uh, a cannon, uh, okay, I guess it's gonna take us a while here to test these out. Maybe, I guess, reorganize time or something. Okay, I think I tested most of these, and I don't see anything happening. Anyway, uh, I would say, what do you have? Unhurt? No, you're gonna go, you have more damage, and you're gonna be the unhurt guy. And we're gonna try to lose the main unit on purpose. We found a bomb. Battlestar deal 2 damage to all enemies. You know what? We're gonna buy this. Uh, for now... Yeah, for now, let's go with money gathering. For now. Yeah, and then I want to buy the bomb and put the bomb on something. So at the start of battle, we just do a bunch of damage to my units. And this guy gets a bunch of hurt. And then we also use the balloon to apply a bunch of frost. And, you know, just a bunch of combos all around. Uh, let's go with uh, event. I would say event, yeah. And then we have fire there. I don't care about fire though, I'm earth now. 50% to lose 3 coins, 50% to gain 3 coins. I don't have money, that's good for us. Random, Randomize all currently owned items. Instantly lose the game. Gain a weighted dice. I don't know what the weighted dice is. Let's get the weighted dice to see what it is. It's an item, guaranteed. Before attack, deal 2 damage to 3 random Katamon. Well, that can hit my own units. That might actually be good for damage scaling, but we're not going to actually use it right now. Let's go. And once again, from here on out, I will try to maybe lose some fights. If not fights, at least lose my frontliner so he gets permanent damage up. He has 35 life anyway, I don't think he's going to even die. And this guy has a passive that the lowest health enemy always is forced to attack him. So one out of the three out of, one out of the four opponents is always going to hit that guy. Always. Okay, 22 health here. Yep, you're gone. They have backliners here that are spawning. Yep, nice. A bunch of damage to everything. That thing's toast. Come on. No, now, now it would be really, really nice if they killed my frontliner. A bunch of frail on this guy. Nine frail, he will get one shot. Come on. Come on, opponents attack. Nice, he has one life. They can do it. They can do it. They have a lot of summons, man. And we lost him. Nice. And he got just now plus one permanent damage. And we won the fight, of course. Because we do have powerful units here. You're gone. Yeah, look at this. 11, 11, and 16 damage. And they only have 8. Easy win. Easy win. Yeah, shielding and thorns and shielding and thorns. Very nice. Boom, 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 boom. Reward. And this guy evolves because we have his class item on him. And he becomes Hyper Obsibium. And this probability becomes unhurt, gain 3 damage and 150% of all damage to the opponents. Very nice. And he also got permanent uh, plus 1 damage because he died previously. Uh, I don't care about any of these. What do you do? Battle star, trigger, ally in front, super one time. This could actually make Obsidian just straight up clear fights right away. But uh, I'm gonna skip here. Coins. Although I think it's better to get something and then sell it to, first of all, get candy and also get the item right? Anyway, I'm gonna XP this guy because I want this guy to give us more max life faster. And uh, what do I want from here? The bomb. I want the bomb. Now let's go. Begin the fight. Once again, this guy's in the front. He has the tank in the front. He also has a scorpion. Actually, this is a dangerous fight, I think. But still, we have the off tank. We have shielding. Is it a dangerous fight? Theoretically, it is a dangerous fight. Components are sleeping. 22 damage on this guy. 11 damage on that guy. How is that possible? Do you not have the... Ah, oh, do you have the sheriff's thing? I'm waiting for an ultimate to literally clear out everybody. Ultimate's incoming in 3, 2, 1... Fire! Everything died. And I don't think my frontliner is gonna die. Yep, it's not. <laughs> we win. Yep, damage everything. Uh, this guy, the 3 life guy is forced to attack my tank, by the way. Yep, you're gonna attack my tank on first. And we won. Very nice. And we have 40 damage on my main unit. Easy one. 43 now. 46 now. <laughs> More power! More power! Recruit the Uh We have all of these. I'm gonna level this thing up, obviously. After ally super deal 4 damage, random po- Oh, that's awesome. After anybody supers 4 poison. This would really, really fit with my build. Come on. Nice. This guy did get a bit of XP. Man, he's, this guy's leveling very slowly. Other still gain one sack. Uh, I want the bomb, as I said. Yep. 
We're gonna buy the bomb and we can't restock. I'm not gonna put the bomb in yet. I'm only gonna put the bomb in when we get the final fight. I still want the money. This guy still should give us money. We should be winning all of these fights. If we lose the fight, it's okay. We can lose up to a fight with four opponents being alive. As of this moment, that is. And I don't think four opponents are gonna be alive when this fight ends anyway. So that's irrelevant most of the time. Boom, you're toast. This guy's about to do his ultimate. Boom, you're toast. Ultimate time. 150% damage to everything. Boom, boom. Yep, everything died. Easy enough. So my main unit is still alive. Bling, bling, bling. Recruit the Kanamon. Uh, these are useless, I would say, because mine is leveled up to max level, yes. So we're gonna once again go here. I could buy one and then sell it. No, we're gonna just skip. There is a reason why I'm skipping on purpose here. Let's continue leveling up the buffer boy. Uh, I think we're gonna restock. I cannot restock. Let's go see how this kind of goes. Gain three coins, gain a campfire, or gain 3D health. Let's go gain 3D health. As I want to be a bit more chill with losing. Give me fire uh, force, physical force. Okay, we are in physical. Ally hurt, apply fragility to the front enemy. That's actually nice. So, who has room? This guy has room. This guy has definitely room, so let's go with my main unit becomes also physical. Nice. So now every time we do a super, we get two spikes and four and one shield. Uh, everybody, every time anybody gets hurt on my team, we apply fire to the front enemy, and then start of battle we gain four damage on everything. That's the boss. If we lose, we lose the game. Enemy gain status, gain one of that status. Use a random enemy's super two times. Royal Crown. Enemy faints. Summon one random box Katamon with 15 health at level 1. Okay. If I lose here, we lose. What do you guys do? Nothing. In the background, there are another 5. Okay, so I need to kill 5 trash mons to get access to killing the boss. And the boss has 10 attacks with 10 damage, which is pretty high. So we're gonna definitely switch around the team now. Um, yeah, actually, how will I... Switch? This is the main tank. Okay, the main tank gets the bombs. So that we get damaged a bunch of times. This guy gets this. Before attack, gain one damage. Uh, attack yourself for one damage and also gain one attack. So it's gonna scale very fast. Uh, you will gain the... Um, first of all, you go one back. You will gain the unhurt. Apply one ice. Yeah, that's good. And uh, you, instead of giving plus three damage... This guy starts with 15 damage. Uh, no, you still stick to what you have. Any super for agility? No. I'm thinking if I maybe should put the stick on this guy so he starts scaling my main unit. Like put it like that and put the stick here so this guy becomes a god in the very, very back line while he attacks and gives some buffs. We're just three damage on everything. No, I think we're gonna go with Obsidian and becomes a super tank. Let's go like this. I think we're good. Yeah, every time he attacks, freezes. This is gonna start with a bunch of damage on everybody. Let's fight this. We should have this. Let's see. What is that? I didn't see that. Enemies gain shield. Grant two damage to all allies. I'm not really shield. I am shielding a little bit. Okay, this guy is like 3d6 frail. He's dead for sure. Boom. Instant death. Also instant death. This guy has six freeze. Oof. 20 damage. Oof. This guy's already 20 damage. That's a bit too much. I need to use ultimate. Uh, right now, ultimate's gonna kill everything, obviously. Oh, if he does my ultimate, we lose the game, by the way. He says activate on, on enemy ulti twice. So if he gets 150% damage twice, it's gonna literally kill my whole team. If the, if the boss ultis, we lose right now. And I cannot do anything about it. Yeah, if we lose, we lose. It is what it is. It's a, it's a random one out of four to lose the game here. He has 15 frail, 16 frail, 9 freeze. If he... He's about to ulti in a moment. Uh, not in a moment, actually. It's a bit far away still. 22 freeze. Yeah, the more we freeze him, the less he's gonna ever attack. 32 frail. Next attack's gonna do like 40 damage to this guy. He has also 15 damage up. My, my unit's dead. My front line is dead. Actually, this guy's gonna die because he is forced to attack um, the off tank. As the off tank says, forced to attack. The opponent's not really playing right now. Okay, that's a good thing that the opponent's not playing. I have 64 damage on my unit. And it survived! He's about to ulti. If he, if he steals my main unit's ulti, we lose right now. Come on, steal the shielding or something. Come on. We won. Woohoo! We didn't risk it. I mean, we didn't really have a choice, but we did not risk it. 25% chance to not consume items for the health. 
whenever anything moves, grant it two shielding. I'm gonna say 25% chance not to consume items. Select an item. Frail applied. I am playing frail at this point. Gain shielding. Frail applied. Gain strength. Yeah, I am a prank frail for sure. How do I play fra frame? Frail? Uh, what did I have that applied frail to the opponents? This thing, right? Yeah, ally hurt. Apply frail. Yeah, we are applying frail now. So these are really good. Gain damage when you apply frail or become damage immune when we apply frail. I mean, if this goes to the tank, my tank's gonna become immortal instantly. So I think we should go with the uh, tank becomes immortal. Yes, gain. Nice. So instead of freezing opponents, um, actually freezing opponents is very powerful. We're gonna go back to when you die. But let's go back to the team we had, and you become the damage on everything. Actually, no, you become the become super shield boy. Yeah, this guy's gonna become the immortal tank, the immortal DPS that's gonna sit in the back line and do nothing. Um. When uh, yeah, the rest is good. The rest is good. We have too many items. Let's uh, we have restock options. Let's restock. I don't think I care about any of these. Another bomb would be nice. What is this? Ally faint. Yeah, we're not gonna faint my allies. Before attack, take damage. Yeah, whatever. Any fire one here? I'm still at three fire, by the way. No fire. Well applied, gain one strength. That's good. Ally summon, gain one health permanently. No. I'll start gain one shield per catamount type in your box. No. Hurt. Apply five poison and consume. Nope. Let's just go. I think we're pretty much done. I just want to level up the give plus one health to everybody. So that's ground. So we want to go ground and campsite. Triple campsite here. I really like that. Yeah, we're going to go triple campsite because that has a chance to give us, for example, it becomes fire. It becomes physical. It becomes earth. Therefore, we go here and then there. Okay, uh, we're gonna do just the fights as they are. And if we lose the fights, then it doesn't matter because I have 80 health. Once again, I can tank up to 8 health losses. Look at this thing instantly, 28. And we all apply frail. The frontliner is always gonna die the way we're playing this right now. 11 charges, instant death. Okay, so I mean, this is insane. The, the fact that right now what happens is because I have the bomb, my units in the start of the fight get damaged, all of them, a lot of times. So this thing uh, happens a lot of times. Whenever any allies hurt, we apply a bunch of frail. So the front line is just instantly dead. And then we do my ultimate. And once again, we didn't lose anybody. Especially not my uh, mega DPS. Very nice. This guy seems to be XPing, but he's not XPing. 35 out of 60. Recruit the Kanamon. No. Skip. I don't need to recruit anything. Too money. Nice. This is giving max life still. I lost the item. Oh. Oh. It's actually... Can I release this? Oh. Well, we lost XP for no reason. Let me actually try to do this with everything. And I'm gonna come back when I'm done. Actually, you know, reorganize test time or whatever. Okay, we did all. I don't think there was any choice, a chance there to get anything. Uh, I'm thinking the only thing that could maybe fit is this thing. Frail applied, get damage with the frail applied, gain shielding. So I'm going to try that out. It makes sense to me. We're going to go with frail applied does uh, shielding, frail applied does damage. Boom. Nope. Even, even that does not do anything here. So um, yeah, it is what it is. By the way, we apply so much frail and I'm thinking about this, where this is very powerful. So you go here. Instead of going on hurt, apply ice. We're gonna go with on hurt. Uh, when, when we apply frail, you just smack them to death. That's my idea here. Which is most likely gonna work out. We're gonna scale a lot of damage very fast. So we have one opponent instantly super failed and getting one shot. And then we have one of my units instantly super powered up. Yeah, boom, 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 frail. Yeah, boom, 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 frail. They're getting fast and charged, though. This guy has 9 speed. And now, this guy has 3d6 frail, so first hit is gonna kill him. And he should have... Wait, he has 13 shielding, and he should have a bunch of damage. Wait, where did his damage go? Wait, what? I mean, we killed the front line for sure. Is it whoever applies the frail gets the damage? Oh, we're about to lose my main unit. Let's go. Nope, that did not happen. 15 health. Come on. Come on. You can do it, man. You can do it. 
Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, he's obviously gonna attack the back lane. Come on! Boom, 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 everybody got damaged. Yep, frail, frail, frail. Boom, it's death, 107 damage. Very nice. This guy never died. Excuse me, what's happening? Uh, excuse me, what's happening? They are playing frail right now. That's done. Ding, ding, ding. Recruit the Katamon. Uh, none of these, honestly. What is this? Strength applied. Grand allies behind one speed. Strength applied. Okay. Now we're gonna skip. Should have sold an item. We lost the XP again. Dang it. Does this not work? Frail applied gain one has strength. It did not seem to work. Frail applied gain shielding does work. The other thing does not seem to work. Uh... Let's go back with just power everybody up, man. I don't think I need money, right? Yeah, the shop's not selling anything I care about. Uh, I would like to sell definitely the stick. I don't think we're gonna use the stick again. And I also don't think we're gonna use the money gain again. Before attack, deal 2 damage to 3 random Katamon. This... This could fit. If it hits us, we get frail. If it hits the opponent, then nice. Yeah, and if it hits my Obsidian, then even better. Let's go with uh, the left side, as we have decided. And this is gain a carrot on a stick, gain a bull baby. I don't want a bull baby. Let's go with a carrot on a stick. I don't want any other Katamon. Because I don't want this randomly to give us stats. What is the carrot on a stick? Moved gain one attack. Okay, I'm gonna try to... Do I even care about testing these out? I don't really care about testing these out. Let's go fight the game. Okay, we have some ants. We just took a bunch of damage, so this thing is gonna have 50,000 frail in a moment. This is getting charge. Yep. When does this thing get charge? Boom! 91 damage, death instant. Come on, guys, you can kill my frontliner. Let's go. No, this thing has 18 health, so it attacks the backline. Let's go. You guys can do it. I don't think they can do it. 101 damage. 101 damage. Fail 4. Boom, 18 damage and then 1 1 1. And opponent's toast. Yeah, when we use ultimates, we apply so much frail. It's insane. Boom, shield, 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 shield. Boom, frail, shield, frail, shield, frail, shield, frail, shield. Exactly. Yeah, this guy's gonna be my off tank, second tank. Let's be through this because we're in the everybody uses this thing thing. Nice. Shoot the Katamon. I don't need any of these. Another coin, by the way. Skip. Two coins. Level things up. Level this guy up. Or try to level this guy up. And uh, skip. Let's go. Either XP or give me... Lightning is useless. We're not lightning. 30 XP on this guy. So he gives more max life. Fire and poison. Yeah, that guy's leveled up pretty much. Now we're going to start leveling up the tank. Do 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 damage! Frail, 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 frail! Power up the frail ability! Yeah, 36 frail. Boom! 71, you're gone. Let's speed through these fights. Nice, this guy 77 damage, instant death. And 18 damage, and we're gone. Boom, boom. Nice. Win. Easy enough. And yeah, that's about to level up. Next fight's gonna level up. Select an item. Uh, I don't care about any of these. Battle start. Consume, consume, consume. No, we don't want battle start items. Recruit Karavan. Uh, this is already maxed out. Hurt. Grand allies behind three energy. What allies? It says allies. It would be no so. It would be so nice if I could somehow take this. I'm gonna press bonus XP here, hoping that I'm gonna somehow take this. I don't think that's gonna happen actually. Yeah, that did not happen. Not only did not happen, we got also a candy anyway, so it was relevant. We're gonna start leveling you up, as you're gonna need to level up anyway. Man, that item would've been insane. I would've put it on the frontliner, whoever it was, we would've switched out the things. Yeah, that would've been godlike for us. Super godlike. I just found the item we want. Dusk. No, we don't care about that. We're not into Dusk. So, uh, let's level you up now. Let's go to the next event. Right, Katamon gains 5... What? Why? Lose 10. Oh. Uh, let's do this. I mean, it's like losing 10 right now or gambling the next fight to lose more than 10. Lightning? Ah, also not. 
I mean, these are all leveled up at this point. Lightning is irrelevant, though. Uh, wait a minute. Can I see on the map another one of those? No, we're not going to be into lightning guaranteed. We're going to push you into leveling. Luchador, Luchalor becomes... Luchalor becomes Lumbrador. Let's go. And he gets... Uh, lowest the max enemy unit attack. This guy 63 health, by the way. And then deal 20 damage to the lowest max health enemy and pull them forward. 20 damage is instant kill in uh, a lot of cases. Because he attacks the lowest health enemy with that ability. So it's... Oh, look at this guy. He has the flame belt. This guy has the hurt. Grant other allies one health. That's actually godlike for us. I'm gonna get, get this guy and get the on hurt gain. Uh, give allies one health. Because that means we're gonna be healing a lot. I'm speed... I have this sped up. Now we're playing sped up at this point. We're gonna do normal speed on the final boss again. Jing 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 boom boom jing jing boom bing jing 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 dun 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 nice we won very nice boom 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 we leveled up a couple of things let's definitely go shopping first and sell the crowd on a stick so I have room for things to come reward okay this guy leveled up vibration levels up to vibrasador or something rockabilly rockabilly why bully though and he gives us. After battle grant, 5 random allies, 1 health. Grant 9 shielding to the lowest ally. And he has 71 health. Recruit the Karmon. We're gonna recruit the thing that has the item I care about. On hurt, grant other allies 1 health. That obviously combos with a bomb and everything we're using anyway. Uh, you're sold instantly. Rare candy goes to whatever. And uh, yeah, on hurt, grant allies health. We're gonna go on you with this. Because this guy is the tank, so he, they will be attacking him once in a while. So he's gonna be healing the team. And uh, continue where? Uh, fighting or grass? Grass fire? Uh, I don't know. I think we have bug fighting easier than grass. That's good grass fire. We should have this fight anyway. I'm still gonna have you first. Uh, but at this point, I don't think we're gonna lose though. Now we have super duper healing. Every time this guy gets attacked, yeah, we just heal so much. And he's an off tank, so he will always get damage from random things. Oh, we're about to lose my main unit. Let's go! Let's go! Kill my main unit! Nope, that's not a thing. Yep, you're gone. Easy enough. Recruit the Kalamon. Uh, I guess none. Skip. Money. Yep, XP up. Doesn't really matter, though. Continue on. I, I, I think we're in the final fight, though. Yep, we're in the final fight. So we're gonna definitely remove the flame belt from you and put the campfire on you. And then pull you back. And have the tank first, the off tank second, my main DPS third, and my hidden secret DPS last. Because my hidden super D secret DPS is gonna be actually, you know what? No, no, no. Let's actually have my super secret DPS tech on. Because this thing is gonna have a lot of shielding, so it's gonna definitely out tank the Hyper Obsidium. Let's go. And Hyper Obsidium has the flame, which says oh, before attack, damage yourself for one and also gain one damage. What is this? Uh, Chaothesis. First of all, Yes, portal. Before battle, spawn all box catamon at level 2 with random types. So he's gonna steal my units, I understand. Enemy faint, someone went random portal. Portal. Someone went random portal. Portal, okay. And what's your ability? On start, gain 5. Hidden. Can't be targeted, remove a stack on attack. So we just are gonna skip, skip, skip. Oh, he's gonna spawn things though, so yeah, it's not gonna be skip, skip, skip. Let's go and see how this goes. Speed 1. Okay, yeah, super asleep. We just damage ourselves a bunch. Super frail, too. Yeah, we begin our opening move here. Yeah, you're just gonna get 50,000 frail. 400 health, kitty numbers. Oh, he doesn't even do his ability. Yeah, here you go, 115. Are you okay, my dude? Boom, 26, not really that much. Here is the portal. Which does what? Hurt, remove three health from randomly enemy permanently. Oh, no. You don't mean after the fight, that's also gonna be true, right? I'm assuming there is another thing after this, because otherwise, why would the permanent even matter? Yeah, you're gonna... St we're stacking up damage. 46. 1. <laughs> frail, frail. Yeah, you're just gonna get a bunch of frail now. Man, imagine if I had this level 2, applying 2 frail per damage taken. What do you do? The same. Hurt, remove 3 health from a random element permanently. This thing needs to die in one hit, man. Please die in one hit. Thank you. It didn't even do its ability because it died in one hit. 24 frail. He has 191 health. Boom, 147. And one more hit and we should be winning here. Boom! Yeah, it even slowed down for a moment there. What was that? 
Uh, okay, force them to the next side, I guess. Kaothis is a thousand health, five and seven. That is before battle, spawn all box cannon at level two with random types. Yeah, we don't have box one. Uh, gain 15 summon slots. Okay. Before battle, summon all Karamon. Release this run at level 1. I think it's like 5 or 6. Deal 20 damage to a ally ahead. Then gain 3 damage and 5 dizzy. Target deals 1 damage to all an ally on attack. Wait, what? So it kills its own units, then gains damage, then gets a debuff that makes it kill its own units. This thing has 7 attack speed. So it's gonna most likely kill us. Let's see how this goes. 20 attack speed, 20 attack speed, and then my actual DPS 12 and 10. Let's see how this goes. I still have a tank and an off tank. Oh, wait a minute. Please tell me that it attacks them in normal order and not however it wants. Yeah, heal, heal, heal. My scorpion's still full life. My scorpion's shielding. The scorpion also gets max life when he casts ability, so is his, uh, his ultimate. 102 damage. Let's go. This thing is glitchy. Look at this awesome. I like the design that glitches are appearing. Yeah, glitches, glitches all over the place. Love it. And over here you can see glitches, and over here you can see glitches. And here are the summon slots, by the way. He has not summoned a single thing, by the way. Where where are the Where are the box ones? I guess it's his ultimate. He is already dizzy. No, it's not his ultimate. Where where are the box ones you were supposed to summon? He's already at 285 health, and this guy has scaled 42 damage. He's gonna lose. And he is forced to attack my off tank right now. Because um, the off tank says it, the lowest health opponent always attacks it. So the opponent is the lowest health opponent. Yeah, we're gonna lose the off tank first. But that not, might not even be true because the main tank is shielding the off tank. Boom, 10 damage. That's a joke number. 452. Yeah, you're dying, man. We have 52 damage on my main DPS here. 56 now. And my off DPS is 29 uh, shield. 30 shielding and 32 health. It's over, man. Heal everybody. Apply Frail to the opponent. Apply Frail. And boom! 57. And my off tank is dead. And he has 154 health. We win this. Boom! 182. And gone. Then we even get a bit of XP at the end. So let's get the reward. Select the field effect. On attack, attacker gains 1 max health. This is godlike. After Super Grant 2... After Super Grant, ally 2 max health. I mean, on attack is better, right? I mean, I'm also doing a bunch of super. Grand ally. One of them, randomly. No, we're gonna go with attack who gets the stats. Select an item. Uh, I don't know. Balloon. For money. Two tickets. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we can find. Level up on my main two units. Another coin. Another potion. Permanent damage potion. Let's sell this. No, I, I bought the wrong thing. I didn't want that. Potion. Plus 5 max health on my main tank. Main DPS. Another plus 5 health. Main tank. Main DPS. Um, radioactive gem. Let's restock. There's so much more. What is this? Walkie talkie. Battle start. Gain 1 shielding per kind of one box. Useless. On equip plus 2 damage. Let's go. This 25% to not consume is just not existing. You know what? Is there any chance this fire slime and water slime are going to be combined? Shouldn't also the Sheriff's Badge combo with the lotion? Like, this really fits in my mind. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, let's maybe see if... What could I sell here? Sell the cannon and see if the two flames combine. Flame 1 with flame 2. No, they don't. Okay. It's, it's irrelevant. Uh, let's continue on. Oh, it's done. We won. Victory! Victory! And here we got some achievements. All is hurt. 1,250. Nice. Actions missed due to sleep. 50. Nice. Is this unlocking things? This really feels like it unlocks things. See enemies. Someone caught them on. 115. We unlock this thing, for example. All is trigger ultimate. We unlock this thing. Is that what is happening? I'm not sure if that's what's happening. We won! We won! Hope you guys enjoyed. That was pretty much the run. Don't forget, you can use the link in the description below if you want to uh, buy the game right now. Helps me out too a little bit because it's tracking who bought it from me. So thanks for a lot for that. And yeah, if you think you can create a better team than me or if you want to test out things, you can play the game yourself. And if I see that people actually enjoy this and want to see more, I might play more. But my schedule is a bit weird all over the place right now. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. 
and see you guys around. <laughs>